So Minecraft 1.18.2 just came out and it's time for us to teach you how to get texture packs in it. We're going to show you exactly how to download texture packs, how to install them, and even how to run multiple texture packs at the same time. So let's say you have a texture pack that adds in just tools, right? It's like a tool pack. If you want to use that and another texture pack, we show you how to do that in this video. One thing I will mention as well, right up front, resource packs and texture packs. They're the exact same thing and I'm going to use those words interchangeably. So no matter how you found this video, whichever one you're searching for, this one's going to work. First and foremost though, we have a quick message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to start an incredible 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we love it just apex so much that we all start our own server played our breakdown craft.com on them so if you want to start a minecraft server look no further than apex minecraft hosting that's the breakdown to xyz slash apex first link down below nevertheless though let's go ahead and get some resource packs what we want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here this is our list of 15 resource packs that are all confirmed working in minecraft 1.18 now one thing worth noting is that any one 17 packs are going to work in Minecraft 1.18. You're going to have to override them, meaning you're going to have to say, hey, I know what I'm doing. It's okay. You can install this, but they are going to work because no new textures were really added between 1.17 and 1.18. Because of that, whether you want to take 18.2 or 1.18 just flat, any of the 1.17 packs will work in any 1.18 version. Nevertheless, once we're here, we want to go ahead and scroll down. For this one, let's go ahead and install John Smith Legacy. I'm going to right click on this download button and open it in a new tab. Then we'll also go ahead and grab Spax here. And then last but not least, let's grab one of my favorite realistic packs, LB Photo Realism. All of these are amazing packs and truthfully have their own styles. So LB Photo Realism here is a very realistic resource pack. On the right hand side, come over here and scroll down under Minecraft 1.18, click the download button. Now, one thing I will say is that a lot of pa resource packs are downloaded on Curse Forge, but a lot of them are like John Smith here, which is completely separate from CurseForge. When you click the download button on our website, it takes you to a dedicated tutorial where you want to go on the yellow download button. And then, like I said, takes you off to their own website here. On their website, you want to make sure that you're downloading the Java version. So you have the Minecraft Bedrock. That's not what we want. We want the Minecraft Java version. Under that, you want to click on the John Smith Legacy, and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. It is worth noting you may need to save or keep these files depending on your browser, but I don't have to do that with Google Chrome. Nevertheless, here we are, last but not least, Sfax. This is a very cartoon style pack. Scroll down, click that download button, and just like John Smith, it's on its own dedicated website. Now, one of the things I like about downloading Sfax Pure BD Craft in these tutorials is that you can see this. So if you ever see, like, 512x, 64x, 16x. What does that mean? Well, with PureBD Craft, you have access to all of them, and they have comparators. We can look right here. So if we look down here on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see 16x. See all this blockiness and everything like that on the pickaxe, even all the blockiness on the tree there. If we go to 512, look how smooth that becomes, right? It looks really, really good. Now, they do give you a warning that it could cause lag, and it probably will. But nevertheless, right here on the right-hand side, you can see how smooth this becomes. For this video, I'm just going to get to the 64x version. That should be sufficient, but you can and kind of see the differences and how it clears up as you add in more basically texture over time. Nevertheless, click the download button there. You may need to agree to the ULA. I don't need to as I've done it in the past, but just click agree and then you'll be able to be here and the download will begin after a few seconds. I just realized that my webcam is in the wrong place, so we're going to go ahead and move that down real fast. Just do it live. Why not? Then go ahead and click the blue download button right here. When we click on that, the download is going to begin in the bottom left as it has with all the rest of our resource packs. While that's downloading, we can minimize our browser and we need to bring these from our downloads folder to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, from in the bottom left of your screen or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you will find all of the resource packs you downloaded. Now this will work with resource packs that aren't downloaded from our website as well. So keep that in mind, any Minecraft 1.18 texture pack or resource pack will be downloaded and installed in the same way. The download part might be a little bit different, but will be installed in this same way. Now let's just go ahead and drag these to your desktop. They're not going to live here for long. Now we need to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So let's go ahead, do that. Normal Minecraft launcher, I'll meet you in game. So here we are with Minecraft open from the Minecraft main menu. All you need to do to install resource packs is click on options and then resource packs. Finally, click on the open pack folder button here and it will open the resource packs folder like so. And you guessed it, to install any resource pack, just drag and drop it into this resource packs folder. What's really cool is when we come back to Minecraft, boom, there they are. They are now installed in Minecraft. So much so that you don't have to reload or do anything. They just are there. We can now hover over any resource pack we want to play and click on the arrow. For example, John Smith Legacy. See, click on the arrow, it moves to selected, click done, and now it's going to reload and that pack is going to activate. This means you can have a resource pack kind of install but not be playing it. That's great in my opinion if you want to switch. But let's go ahead and jump in game real fast. We'll jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play it 
Minecraft.com. I don't see why we wouldn't. But once we are in game here, we can see that John Smith Legacy is in fact installed. Look at that. Looking good. However, what if you want to switch packs? Well, to do that, go ahead and hit escape. Go into options, resource packs, and you can actually change packs right here in game. So we can remove John Smith Legacy and add in LBPR Photorealism, right like so. Move this over and... Now, if we click done, it's going to reactivate and re change the packs around to where now photorealism is installed. I mean, completely different look. Look at the cactuses. They look real. It's amazing. But one thing I will say is we need to make it daytime. With a stroke of a command, there we go. And what if you want to install, though, like a tool pack, like a resource pack that just has new tools in it? Well, in that case, you would go to options, resource packs. You'd install the resource pack in the exact same way, adding it to the pack folder here. But once it's installed, you would want to add it over whatever resource pack you wanted to use. So let's just say Pure BD Craft, instead of being a full resource pack, was just tools. But we wanted everything under that to be LBPR Reloaded or LB Photorealism. In that case, we would add the tool pack on top, and then under that, we would add in LBPR, exactly like this. When we click Done, all the tools would show up, but then it doesn't have any other textures. It just has tools. So after that, Minecraft's going to look at the next pack and say, okay, all of our other textures are going to be pulled from LBPR. Awesome stuff there, and it's a great way to use tool packs with other resource packs. Nevertheless, go ahead and click done there. We had moved over, back to BD Craft, and there we go. Now we have this. You just were able to see how different Minecraft can look depending on the resource pack you have. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and we hope you're able to find the Minecraft resource pack that worked for you. Whether it's back to BD Craft or any of the other ones, let us know in the comment section down below what your favorite resource pack is. Nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.